really common theme in and actually doing a lot of diving into some of the literature and studies around um what what you would call like elite athletes and the super elite athletes these would be um olympic athletes but also then the super elite are your multiple gold winning Mm -hmm. athletes like they they win multiple games and they win them and one of the common threads amongst all of them is that there is a moment of struggle in their upbringing they have faced a huge adversity and that and that is a massive spectrum and obviously each individual's ad- adversity is completely different so what it takes is actually recognizing what adversity you've gone through and then seeing what lesson you've learned and how you can then use it later on in life i look at many different things that were just so probably what i would say trivial now you could easily just breeze over them but i grew up recognizing like that was tough that was hard and because i've done it before i've got confidence that i can actually do it again did you feel something similar that when you had gone through this really trying period you just drew upon it in any moment that required some sort of grit determination perseverance or, or resilience yeah definitely you know i think it it made me have a lot of belief in myself i guess if if that kind of makes sense mm. you know i think it I showed that I could come through and look, I had so much help and so much commitment from my family around me. Um, but then again, that's something that I can still rely on today. You know, when, when times are tough, if I need to fall back on my parents, that they're very much there for me. You know, I've got a huge like support group network back up at home of those people that kind of went through those tough times for me. And um, I think that it's just a huge sort of confidence thing that if you're having a bad time of which, you know, you have a lot of low points in your career or a lot of lulls in performance, um, you know, some recently, some over the past 10 years that I've gone, well, I can, I can do this and I can come out stronger on the other side. And um, it's almost like I'm not a quitter. You know, I've, I've always kind of looked at my badminton career and gone, oh, I'll retire when, when I feel ready or I've never set a date on it or I've never done this. I'll retire when I think that there is, no stone left to turn if that makes sense because Mm. whatever kind of badminton throws at me or life throws at me or um anything else that comes into my life I'm like well I can use it as something to make me stronger to make me better um and you know it's it's sometimes in those moments you don't think that but you know when you have a moment of calm and you kind of step away you feel those sort of things coming back and you pull on those memories and there's been ones more recently than than that one. I just that was a huge sort of building block. That was the first time that I was like, okay, I've come up against a bit of adversity and I've thrived on it. So that means that's my character and I can do that. Um, yeah, and that's definitely something that is shaped me as an athlete in the way that not even that I am just throughout my career, but in the way that I am on court. You know, if there's a a match, um, I'd say Marcus and myself in mix, they're quite known for turning around matches that we should lose almost um, for being down and out, whether that's yeah. like a long way from the set or a match point down. Um, we never kind of lie down and give it to anyone. And, you know, that's a, a reputation that I'm hugely proud of. And something, again, that stems from those same sort of experiences of, well, you know, I'm still in it. You know, I might be really far out of it in theory, but I'm still here. I'm still on court. I'm not going to lie down and let anyone take anything easily. Um, And again, it's something that I'm proud of and that I rely on a lot. You know, sometimes I'd love to just win easy and not be in these positions. (laughs) But unfortunately, it doesn't happen. (laughs) Um, (laughs) So, you know, it's um, definitely something that has played a huge role in in a lot of my, my life. But then it also gives you your identity as as both an individual and, and as a pair with Marcus. And, and I'll get on with your your partner with Marcus, but like the whole do you going into a match, do you actually so is there something that you're either saying to yourself or, or as a pair where you're you're bringing out that sort of, I guess, underdog energy? Is is, is that the best way? Or that even that mindset of just being like we we've done this before we can grit this out let's do this and and are you actively saying that to each other or is it something that you just kind of will turn to each other and be like this is happening again yeah I think definitely in game situations you know before the match it's usually these are the tactics this is how we want to play this is what we can do well 
But even when we talk about what do we do well, you know, and some people are like, oh, we've got this great attack or this great drop shot, this great set piece. Me and Marcus are like, we just get a lot of stuff back and we're really annoying, you know, which is kind of like mm. that identity. <laughs> it's like, we're on there to be annoying. Uh, and definitely there's a lot of moments in games when, when times are tough that we do turn to each other and go, we've done this before, like, you know, let's, or at least we say like, you know, if they're going to win, let's make it really hard for them. Like, let's make this horrible and challenging for them and, you know, kind of take it to them as much as possible. Um, and, you know, it's it's definitely helped us out of a lot of sticky situations and is probably more important than a lot of tactics that you'll ever go onto a game with, you know, knowing that you've got that. And also, hopefully, a lot of opponents that we play against go on court knowing that that's going to be the case you know they might beat us but we're not going to make it easy for them you know we're not going to lie down they can have a really strong start or a really strong game and we're still going to fight for every single point and make them earn it and that's a a valuable thing in itself and might even win you a couple of points just from people being like oh god's sake like and just you know losing focus or getting frustrated mm. this sort of attitude that we we bring 